Hello and welcome to RegoFix Tech Chat. My name is David McHenry. I am the engineering and technical manager here at RegoFix USA. Today, let's talk about tool holder assembly and what usually goes wrong when we talk about the nut and the torque that's used. Now, RegoFix has provided nut torques in our catalog since about 2000. So for the last 23 years, we've been providing technical information to help you with your assembly. But why is this really important? The ER Collet series range anywhere from ER8 up through ER50. And the torque values are different, obviously, for the ER50 versus the ER8. But within each ER series, there can also be differences. And why do we have those differences? Well, everybody thinks that a normal ER collet would look like this, where I have a through bore going all the way through the center and my tool goes all the way through. But what happens as my tool diameter gets smaller is I have what are called counter bores in the back. And this shortens the amount of clamping length that's required for my very small diameter cutting tools. Well, in some of the smaller ER series, as I increase my counterbore size, I also change the torque value I have to put onto that collet. So if you refer to the catalog, and you go in the catalog, and you go back to page 293 and 294, you will find the Newton meter torque chart and a foot pound torque chart that tells you exactly how tight to make each collet based on its diameter. So what I want to do now is do an example. We are going to take an ER16 assembly, we are going to torque it properly, then we're going to over torque it, and we're going to see what happens. So we've moved over to our workbench and we have our zero spindle. And our first original assembly here is going to be a hand tight assembly. So what I have is a three inch cap 40 ER16 tool holder. I have a 1 8 ER16 regular collet, and it's just a ground carbide pin. This is not a precision pin, it's just a ground carbide pin, uh, basically an end mill blank. And what we want to do is show what happens as this is tightened. So right now it's hand tight, and we're going to take a measurement, then we're going to move over to our torque block, we will torque it down to the recommended value, then we're going to come back, take another measurement, then we're going to over torque it on what happens and let's see what happens with that TIR. So this is our hand tight version and you can see it's actually really good. Uh, we are right around that two and a half to three microns so really really good assembly in this case but again it's only hand tight. Now let's go over and torque it to recommended values. Okay we are back over at our Torco block and let's torque this ER16 1 8 inch collet to the correct specification. Now we can go to our catalog and we can look it up and we see that it's 20 Newton meters or we put our ER16 block in or a ring onto our block and we turn the needle and gives us a reference value that we can easily get to. We're going to go ahead and take our wrench and that's it. That is all the torque required for a 1 8 inch ER16. We are back over at our zero spindle and this is with our torqued to specification 20 Newton meters ER16 1 8 inch collet. And we were about three microns hand tight. And it looks like we are running right around two microns uh, torque to this correct value, maybe a tiny bit over two microns. So still very, very good uh, with our TIR, it's what we would expect. But what happens when I over torque this? One of the most common problems that we see with the small ER series is over torquing. And what normally happens is they would have a torque wrench and they would set the value to the maximum diameter size. And that's what they would use for all different uh, tool diameters, whether it be an eighth inch or a three eighths inch. In this case, what we're going to do is we're going to take our ER16 and we're going to over torque it, but within the ER16 range. So we're going to take our needle and move it from an eighth inch all the way up to the top of the 10 millimeter size or the 3 8 inch diameter. 
This is about a two and a half times over torque on that collet. So let's see what happens when we do that. All righty, let's take this over and measure it. So we're back over at our zero Z again, and we have our over torqued ER16. Now this is about 56 Newton meters, where we only require about 20 Newton meters. So it's not really excessively over torqued, but it is over torqued for the size of collet. And you're gonna see that from the two microns that we had, you know, it's now pushing numbers up in, in the fives. So we've definitely seen an increase in the TIR just by over torquing it. And that's just one of the side effects that you have when you over torque it. Let's go back to the table and discuss what else may happen. Other very common issues we see associated with over torquing the clamping nut and the collet, well, that would be breaking the ER collet cavity. And you'll see some pictures here on the screen that show you what that looks like. That's simply over torquing the cavity, spreading it out and causing it to break because I'm wedging the collet in too hard into that cavity. I can also see issues with the collet itself. The collet is only about 45 Rockwell, while my tool holders are close to 60 Rockwell, which means something has to give under all that torque pressure. And you can see damage on the side of the collet where it's actually been pushed into the collet cavity so hard, the material deforms and stays deformed. Well, what's the big deal, right? Well, this is part of your precision. If you damage this surface, you run the risk of causing TIR on additional assemblies or just flat out ruining that collet where you have to throw it away. We decided to go ahead and put the tool back in the fixture and we are gonna excessively over torque it. We're gonna go up to 80 Newton meters, uh, which is an additional 20 Newton meters over the recommended value. So this should be quite a bit higher. And let's hope we don't break the collet. All right, let's put it back in and see what we measure. So here we are back at our zero Z again with our excessively over torqued ER16 assembly. And if you watch that scale, you're gonna see it is all over the place. So from our very good two and a half to three micron assembly by hand, uh, we are now, uh, we're approaching 17, 18 uh, microns on this just by over torquing it. Uh, we've twisted the collet at this point. It, it is no longer holding on properly to that cutting tool. If you have any questions at all about proper torque on your ER collets, feel free to reach out to your EgoFix technical team. We are here to help.